Hello everyone, this is Vrishali. In previous session, we discussed about all types of testings with example. I have mentioned complete software engineering subject playlist link in below description box. Now, in today's session, we will discuss the next important topic that is defect or bug life cycle. Let's start the session. In this session, we will discuss about what exactly defect or bug, their life cycle and some important questions that have asked in previous year question papers. Now, the first point is what exactly defect or bug. See, while designing or developing a particular product, there are some errors have occurred. Due to that errors, your project did not work properly. This is called as defect or bug. Basically, the variation between actual result and expected result is known as defect. There is defect life cycle. This life cycle displays some set of states where defects are goes through their entire life. The main purpose of defect life cycle to find all the defects or errors in your project and fix those defects systematically and efficiently. See here in this particular diagram. In software development life cycle, after coding, there is a testing phase. Tester identified all the defects in particular project and resend to the developer for fixing or solving purpose. That's why this defect life cycle performed by developer and tester. For that purpose, they use different tools like Jira, Track, Redmine, etc. Now, the next topic is defect life cycle. As per your exam point of view, this question and this diagram is important. The first state in defect life cycle that is new state. In testing phase, tester identified defects or bugs in particular project. Then they send these particular defects to the developer team for solving purpose. This is called as new state. After that, there is a assigned state. Here, all the defects are assigned to the developer team for solving purpose. Now, after assign all the defects to the developer, there is an open state. Here developer open a particular defect and check that whether a defect is valid or invalid. If particular defect is valid, then they move to next state that is fixed state for solving purpose. But a particular defect is invalid. At that time, they transfer those defect into three state like duplicate, rejected and deferred. See here. Suppose tester send same type of defect again to the developer. This is called as duplicate state. Suppose defect is invalid, that is rejected state. And sometime defect is not as that high priority. So you can solve those defect in next release and next version of particular software. This is called as deferred state. Now, if a particular defect is valid, then they move to fixed state. Here developer takes all the necessary actions to solve a particular defects errors in particular project and they ensure that all the defects will remove from particular project and they send this status to the tester. Now the next one is retest. Here testing team check that whether a particular defect has fixed by the developer or not. Now in retest Suppose a particular defect is still present in particular project, then they move to reopen state. This defect again sent to the developer and developer perform again open fixed this particular operation. If a particular defect is removed from particular project, then they move to verified state. Here tester retest a particular defect which is fixed by the developer team. And tester ensure that there is no any defect is present in particular project. This is called as verified state. Now, after verified, there is a closed state. Once the defects are fixed by the developer and verified by the tester, testing team close the particular issue. So this is called as defect life cycle. Now let's take a revision. First, tester team identified a defect that is new state after that, assign those defects to the developer team. Now in open state, developer team check that whether it is valid or invalid defect. If it is valid defect, they move to fixed state for solving purpose. But if it is invalid, then they move to duplicate, rejected or deferred state. 
in fixed state developer solve all the defects or errors in particular project and send status to the tester in retest tester check that whether a particular defect still present or not still particular defect is present in particular project then they move to reopen set and send again those defects to the developer but a particular defect solved by the developer then they move to verify test here tester ensure that there is a no defects have present in particular project and they move to close state here testing team close all the issues so this is a defect life cycle now as per your exam point of view explain defect life cycle in detail for 8 marks or how bug reporting is done for 6 marks these questions are important so at that time you have to prepare defect life cycle diagram with explanation so thank you keep learning